Guru Har Gobind Ji. He was the son of the fifth Sri Guru, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, and his mother's name was Mata Ganga Ji. He was born at Guru Ki Badali, a near Bhagtang, in district Amritsar, Punjab. In 1606, Guru Arjan Dev Ji was martyred at Lahore by the fifth by the Mughal Emperor Jahangir. And Guru, after the martyrdom of Guru Arjan Dev Ji, Guru Hargobind Ji became the sixth Guru. He was coronated by Baba Buddha Ji. Baba Buddha Ji remained contemporary from the first Guru till the ninth Guru Ji. Guru, this Baba Buddha Ji, he served the Sikh Gurus as a priest. And for your information, he was the first Granthi of the Harmandir Sahib when Guru Granth Sahib was installed in the Harmandir Sahib by fifth Guru, Guru Arjan Dev Ji. Guru Hargobind Ji decided that he won't wear topi and sali. He will wear turban and he will have a kalgi and have a chatar also. He decided to live like a prince. And Guru Hargobind Ji started wearing the two swords and he brought the concept of miri and piri for the temporal purpose and for the spiritual purpose. The new concept he brought it. Many times in civil services, this question is asked from which guru the Sikhism transformed into the militarism. Many people write it is Guru Gobind Singh Ji. No, it's not Guru Gobind Singh Ji, it is Guru Har Gobind Ji, sixth. Guru Har Gobind Ji even asked his Sikhs to pay the swand or one tenth of their income in the form of weapons, arms, horses, ammunition. And he built up one army over there. At that time, the Mughal Emperor was Jahangir. He was informed and Guruji was arrested. Guruji, people used to call Guruji Sacha Padsha and he even assumed the title of Sacha Padsha. Sacha Padsha, he was taken to the fort of Gwalior where he was put as a prisoner. Guruji remained there as a prisoner. And it was the intervention of Sai Mia Mir. Sai Mia Mir had a good say in the Mughal court. Sai Mia Mir is the same person who laid the foundation of Harmandir Sahib. During the time of Guru Arjan Dev Ji, he was a Sufi saint. He approached and enlightened Mughal Emperor Jahangir that Guruji is not a revolutionary. Whatever the army defense he had, it is for the self-defense, not to attack anyone. Guru, uh, Mughal Emperor ordered that Guruji should be released. But Guruji refused to come out. He said, let the other 52 Rajas should also be released. They were the Rajas, Princes, Princes, Jamidars of the various regions of Gadawal, Himachal Pradesh and various parts of the country. Guruji's condition was accepted by the Mughal Emperor and 52 Rajas, they were also released. 
Guruji came back to Amritsar, his hometown. People lit their houses in honor of the arrival of their Guru. And Guruji was welcomed with the lights. That is why the Diwali of Amritsar is very important and significant. And people celebrate this day as a Bandi Chod Baba, Bandi Chod Divas, sorry. And people used to call him the Bandi Chod Baba. Guru Hargobind Ji, this is how he came back and started his functioning from the Amritsar. Guru Hargobind Ji wanted to separate the politics from the religion. That is why 100 meters away, sorry, 100 feet away from Harmandar Sahib, he built the Akal Takhat. Whatever to be, whatever the politics will be discussed, that will be at Akal Takhat, not at Harmandar Sahib. So he separated the religion and politics. One unique feature in this construction. If you are sitting in Harmandar Sahib, you can't observe Akal Takhat. But if you are sitting in Akal Takhat, you can observe the Harmandar Sahib. It is almost equal to the, uh, the Takht of the Mughals at Delhi. Mughal Emperor Jahangir visited and he was astonished to see the Akal Takhat and praised the Guruji and the functioning of the Sikhi. Guruji had some land in the foothills of Shivalik where he built one town that is Kirtpur Sahib. Guru Hargobindji further built one town very near to Amritsar that is Chehata Sahib, where he shifted the seat of the Guru. Up till 1627 or up till the period of Jahangir, the relations between the Sikhs and the Mughals remained cordial. There was no disturbance at all. After the death of Jahangir, his son Shah Jahan became emperor. Shah Jahan had a different attitude, different views. While coming back from Lahore, he demolished the Bauli at Lahore, he demolished the Bauli at Goindwal Sahib. So the relations became strange between Guruji and the Mughals. In 1634, the Mughal forces attacked the Amritsar. It was the same day when Guruji was observing the marriage of his daughter Bibi Viroji. Bibi Viroji was married to, for your information, I'll tell you, Bibi Viroji was married to Pai Saduji. They had five sons. Out of the five sons, the two sons they killed in the battle of Anandpur Sahib along with the other soldiers. They played a very important role in the city. So Guruji shifted the venue for some time of the marriage of their daughter. Celebrate the daughter, uh, celebrate the, sorry, the marriage and came back. When he came back and fought the battle against the Mughals. 
one Mughal, one Muslim, Panda Khan, also fought from the side of the Gurus. Guruji won the battle. And at the same place where the battle was fought at Amritsar, later on, towards the end of the 19th century, Khalsa College, Amritsar was set up over there. Guru Hargobind Ji fought some other battles, like the Battle of Kartarpur, Battle of Fagwada, Battle of Gurusar. And in one of the battles, one of his son, Tyagmal, fought bravely. And Guruji gave him the title Teg Bahadur, means the warrior of swords. Who will be the next ninth Guru in the course of time? Finally, Guruji retired in the foothills of Shivali and he died at. Kirtpur Sahib in 1644-45. That's it. दस बारह मिनट ही बरन गए थे। तो पे मैं ना कि फिर अपन ऑर्डर तो